I'm Jackie. Tired of the same two looks your old light switch has to offer? Install a dimmer switch. It'll add ambiance to any room and help you save on your energy bill at the same time. It's a super easy project that you can do all by yourself. I'm not an electrician and it'll only take me about 15 minutes. <laughs> Assuming your wiring is relatively recent, say in the last 25 years or so, this is a really easy DIY project. Now the first step is the most important and that's figuring out which switch to buy. So if you have a light that's controlled by two switches, like in this hallway, with one at the top and one at the bottom, you're going to need a three-way dimmer switch. So look for the three-way icon on the packaging. Now I'm showing you the instructions for this situation, but if you have a light that's controlled by one switch, then you'll need a single pole dimmer switch. Once you have the right dimmer, read up on the instructions. When you're ready to get going, it's always very important to turn your circuit breaker off and also label which switch you're working with so that no one turns it back on. And then you can take the plate off. Remove the plate and unscrew the switch and use a circuit tester to make sure the electricity is actually off. As an added precaution, I always flip the switch on and off, make sure the light doesn't turn on and also remember to leave the switch in the off position. Now it's time to start wiring your dimmer switch and it's really easy, I promise. Keep an eye out for four wires. You have a red one, a white one, a black one, and a ground wire, which is usually green or copper. Disconnect all the wires from the old switch by loosening the screws and unhooking the wires. All right, there you go. We have our old switch out and it's time to put our dimmer in. With our new dimmer, all you have to do is match up the colors of the old wires to the new ones and twist the ends together. If there are two reds, one will actually connect to the white. Secure them together with a wire nut until it's tight and won't turn anymore. Now make sure you have all of the exposed wires covered securely by the wire nut, and then just push all your wires back into the wall, into your electrical box. Turn the circuit breaker back on and check the switch to make sure it works, and when it does, you can close it all back up and mount your wall plate to the dimmer. And this one actually has a screwless wall plate. You just pop it off, grab your screwdriver and your screws, screw it on back in. See, just like that, an instant update. For more easy fixes like this, head to lowes.com slash home101.